hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some grilled fish and the fish that I'm gonna use is tilapia so here I have four tilapia in my bowl right here that already wash and clean and scale I wash it in some lemon juice okay these are all of my herbs here I have some fresh thyme at least one tablespoon some scallion one onion four cloves of garlic one teaspoon of black pepper I also have one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning and one teaspoon of fish seasoning and one teaspoon of my jerk seasoning and that's the powder okay and I'm gonna also add some scotch bonnet pepper but I'm not gonna use the old scotch bonnet pepper because you know this pepper is super super spicy unless you want yours to be really hot you can use everything but me I'm just gonna cut it in half so guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add all my seasoning to one bowl And I'm also gonna add some ginger powder and that's one teaspoon some smoked paprika and that's one teaspoon also then I'm gonna give it a stir so everything will all combine okay So that's it so here I have a food processor and what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna add my scallion and my thyme to it because instead of using a blender I'm gonna use my food processor instead okay I don't want my scallion and my onion to blend out too much so that's why I'm using the fruit processor so that's my scallion and this is my scotch bonnet pepper and this is how I cut it as I said I'm not gonna use the old scotch bonnet pepper my garlic my fresh thyme and I'm also gonna add all my seasoning and I'm gonna also add some of my jerk seasoning from the bottle I'm only gonna add one small spoon just a small spoon you don't need a lot because we all know that this is very spicy so that's it and this is just gonna bring more flavor to it guys I'm gonna add a one tablespoon of my olive oil and some dark soya sauce and I'm gonna add at least half teaspoon that's it I just put the lid on it so now I'm gonna turn on the switch. So guys, this is what it look like after I finish it. And as I said, I don't want it to be all blend out. So this is perfect, okay? I'm telling you, the smell is everything, guys. It smells so good. Guys, now I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to pat dry my fish just to remove, you know, any excess water. So now guys, I'm going to take a knife. You want to make sure that your knife is sharp and I'm going to slice my fish, okay? I'm going to do like three slices. Like so.
another one and that's three yeah just like so and I'm gonna slice the other side yeah like so that's perfect so guys I'm gonna firstly add some olive oil on my fish if you want you can always use some vegetable oil then I'm gonna take my brush and just brush it all on like so then I'm gonna add my blended seasoning Just want to brush on the seasoning. You can always take your spoon and just make sure that the part that is sliced, make sure that there is seasoning on the inside, okay? Because guys, you want your fish to be nice and flavorful. Then you want to rub it on. You want to carry on with the same process, okay? Make sure on the inside also, you had some seasoning on the inside. Don't forget that. Make sure some of the seasoning is on the head everywhere. Guys, you want to flip it over and carry on with the same process, okay? Guys, here I have my baking tray. And to my tray, I add some baking paper. So I'm just gonna add, you know, just a bit of olive oil to my tray. Then I'm gonna take my brush and brush it, okay? And I'm also gonna add some fresh thyme and some scallion. Some onion now guys I'm gonna add my grill okay and you want to make sure that you oil your grill before you add it because you don't want you know your fish to stick and the reason why I add the scallion and the onion and the fresh thyme when your fish is in the oven 
it's just going to release, you know, all those flavor on your fish. Yes. So guys, my oven is preheated and 180 degrees Celsius. So now I'm going to add my fish like so. And I'm going to put it in my oven for at least 30 minutes to 35 minutes. Make sure that they're all spaced out. So I'm just going to add just a bit of salt to each one of them. And this is sea salt, okay? Then in the oven it goes. Stay tuned. So good. I cannot wait for it to finish. I know it's going to be so delicious, guys. So guys, I just removed my grilled tilapia from the oven. And this is what it looks like. It's been in the oven for at least just over 35 minutes. But guys, for the last 5 minutes, what I did, I put my oven on broil, okay? So the top will look nice and brown, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some olive oil just to keep it nice and moist. I'm telling you, it looking delicious. But it is not yet finished, guys. I'm going to turn it over. Because you want the other side to cook also, okay? So now guys, I'm going to take my time and flip it over. It is so nice and so juicy. You want to try and take your time. As I said. Just like so. Guys, you could see all the juice coming from it. Look at all that juice. <laughs> so now that it is all flip over, as you can see guys, this side is all white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of more of my blended herbs. And I'm going to base my fish with it okay and I'm gonna put it back in my oven for at least 25 to 30 minutes but I'm gonna put it on a broil okay and 180 degree Celsius so guys in the oven it goes stay tuned it looking so delicious I cannot wait for it to finish So guys, my grilled tilapia is all finished and this is what it look like. I'm telling you, it looking super, super delicious. I mean, just look at it. It is nicely, nicely grilled. I'm telling you, guys, this recipe right here is a must try. Your whole family will enjoy this recipe. If you try it, please comment below and tell me what it's like. Don't forget to share. Share this video, guys, to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media i will really really appreciate it and give me a big thumbs up okay you can serve it with some ripe plantain some rice you know some salad whatever you preferred so the tray that i use to bake my fish there are some liquid that leave back so what i'm doing i'm just taking my brush and to just brush all that liquid all on my fish just to keep it moist okay and at the bottom there is some red onion that i cut with some scotch bonnet pepper just for presentation yes guys i hope you all do enjoy this video so guys i'm gonna taste some of my fish for you all and tell you what it's like and I'm gonna serve it with some planting, okay? Honestly, it is super, super delicious. The flavor is everything, guys. I'm telling you, my family enjoyed. It is so, so, so good. Super, super flavorful. I hope you guys do try this recipe. I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye.
Don't forget to keep laughing, keep smiling, no matter what, because God is always on your side. Bye, guys. Much love. That's my ripe planting right there, because I love ripe planting.